Okay, so we've been discussing some of the, I guess, technical issues of, uh, of how you run. Um, and we've covered a couple of interesting topics, but I want to talk now about some general technical errors. In other words, what, what are some of the things that we all agree you probably shouldn't be doing with, when you run? And the first one I want to talk about is overstriding. And by that, I simply mean that you've got your leg way out in front of uh, your body's mass. And I think most people, um, biomechanists especially, agree that this is not particularly a good thing. What are your thoughts on that, Marlene? I think that the problem with overstriding is that you are going to increase the compression force acting at your knee joint because your knee will be more extended at the initial contact and you are also going to increase the knee valgus. So this is this motion and this is two motion uh, are related to knee pain. Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty easy thing for most people to identify. When we look at people running, we can see that they've got a lot more distance between their body weight and where they land. And that's something you probably should try to iron out of your technique if you possibly can. The other thing I briefly want to talk about is step width. And one of the things we understand is that you can possibly um, vary the distance between your feet when you run um, as a part of an injury prevention program. Um, certainly in things like uh, shin splints, um, shin pain, if you uh, tend to widen your, your gait a little bit, um, we see some good uh, anecdotal evidence at least that that might help with shin pain. Any thoughts on why that might be the case? Related to shin pain, mm -hmm. uh, I think that um, by, maybe by increasing your, your, your step width, you are going to refoot strike and by refoot striking you are going to reduce the calf strain applied uh, on the periost and maybe mm. this could explain mm. why mm. by increasing the, the step width mm. you are going to reduce the yep. strain. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of theories on this and, uh, and the answer is nobody really knows but, but if you think about this in a simple model that if you increase your step width well then your leg is more vertical obviously if you've got a very narrow step width and think about a sprinter where they actually cross over they've got a large what we call limb varus, a large inclination of their leg and that means they have to pronate more, um, which again is a, a whole new topic when we start talking about pronation, but it may well be that that's, uh, that's a part of the, uh, of, of the equation here. Whatever, we do know that by varying your step width and by looking at things like overstriding and, and trying to iron out technical issues, you may well have an advantage in terms of either not getting injured or treating the injury you have. So thanks Marlene, um, thanks for listening to us and we'll be back with you soon.